Here's how you can create a bot that can send emails to multiple people in Python. So let's get started. Firstly, you will have to go over to your Google account and click on the security option. Then, click on the two-step verification option. Make sure that it is switched on. Now scroll down and click on the app password icon. Enter the name of the app that you want to create a password for, in this case it's Python. Now, copy down the password as this will be needed later in the video. Also, please delete the app password that you created after completing this project as these are less secure than using up-to-date apps and services that use modern security standards. To delete them, just click on the delete icon next to the name of the app. Okay, let's get back to the project. Firstly, we will have to import three major components. Email, the SSL, and the simple mail transfer protocol. Now, let's assign the sender, receiver, subject, body and password variables. For the password, paste the app password that you had copied in the beginning of the video. But I have created another Python file that has the password in it for privacy reasons, so I will simply import the password from the file. Now let's create an instance of the email message package that we imported in the beginning. Also we have to specify the from, to, and the subject values for the instance. To do that, just assign it the values that you had created before. Now, let's assign it the body using the dot set content function. It's time for us to fill in the subject and body details. To do this simply enter it in the variables that you had created for these. Let's just say subscribe to facts in the body, and if you didn't do that yet, please smash the red subscribe button below to show us support. Now, we should specify a context for the SMTP function that we are going to declare after this. Just copy down the code to do exactly that. Now, let's use the simple mail transfer protocol function. Let's start with the with statement. Now, in the brackets, we have to declare the host, which in this case is the smtp.gmail.com. Let's also declare the port number which is let's say 465. Now, declare the context which is equal to the context variable that we assigned before this. Let's specify this as smtp using the as statement. Now, we are gonna log in using smtp. Just specify the sender and the password variable inside the brackets. Finally, let's use SMTP to send our email. Inside the brackets, write the sender and receiver variables. We are also going to convert the instance to a string as it has all the data for the from, to, and subject variables. I also forgot to equate the password variable to the string that I imported from the other file so let's quickly get that done. Now, coming to the main part, let's make the receiver's address. To do that, please use tempmail, it is a free website that generates temporary email addresses and displays its inboxes. Copy the email address and paste it inside the receiver's variable. Also, don't forget to enter the sender's address, which in this case is your Gmail account. Now it's time to run the program. It usually takes a few seconds to send the mail. And yeah, it has sent the mail. And as you can see, it has successfully sent the mail. Let's click on it real quick, and there you go. That's it for the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, peace.